Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to use everything that we learned in this training series and use it to create a basic website mockup. Okay, so I'm going to start off with these dimensions, 1020 by 1280, and then click OK. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I need to bring my rulers. So I'm going to press Command R, and then I'm just going to drag some guidelines. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the rectangle tool and just create a rectangle. All right, so I'm just going to position this. Okay, so next I'm going to have a rounded rectangle with a radius of six. So I'm going to have, okay, that should be okay because I need three of these. So I need um, two more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the move tool and then duplicate this. And if you remember, the shortcut is holding down the Alt key and then just drag like that. Okay, it's taking shape now. So what I'm going to do now is I need to start naming these rectangles. So the first one, I'm going to call it main banner. And then this one, I'll call it banner two, banner one, and then banner two and banner three. So here on the top, I'm just going to add some text where our logo is going to go. So I'm just going to type in logo. It's a bit too big, so I need to resize it. So I'm going to press Command T and then make it a bit smaller. Okay, that, that will do. Right, next I'm going to need the line tool. So I'm going to come to the line tool and then just draw a line. Okay, so next I'm going to add the navigation. I'm just going to add the links. So which are going to be home, three spaces, about us, three spaces, and finally contact us. Highlight this and then change the font. So I'm going to click in here and then select the font that I want. So I'm going to go for Helvetica. So I'm going to go for compressed. Then I'm going to reduce the size. I think 30 will do. Right, so I'm just going to move that into position. And then I'm also going to do the same with the logo. Change that to Helvetica. Right, that looks good. I'm just going to add a few more guidelines. Right, so next I'm going to start bringing in my images now. Now that I've clicked on this part of my website mockup, I need to make sure the image that I'm going to bring in is going to be on top of this banner. Okay, so I'm going to go to File, Place, and then I'm going to go to our Photoshop course. I think I'll go with this one. It's all over the place. So what we're going to do is we're going to use clipping masks. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and then clip that to the banner. And then I just need to resize that image. And then position it. Okay, I'm just going to press Enter. And then I'm going to change the background of this banner to white. So I'm going to double click on it and then just select white. And then I need to add a title. Next, I'm going to need another line to separate that part. So I'm going to click on the line tool and then click and drag. Okay, so let's press F5 a few times and then see how this design is coming up. I'm going to hide the, um, the guidelines by clicking command colon. So, okay, so now we can see roughly how our website looks like. Okay, I'm going to press escape and then let's continue with the bottom part of the website. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to choose another picture. So I'm going to click here on this banner one and then go to file place. I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to place it, drag it closer, press enter to commit to that. And then I'm going to do another clipping mask. I'm going to press Command T or Control T on Windows, and then I'm going to resize it. Press Enter, and then I'm going to go and add a rectangle tool. And then put a headline of beauty tips. This text is a bit too thick, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. It's to press Command T and then resize that text press enter 
and then drag the text onto the layer. So we can see the rectangle is right here. So what we could do is we could we could also clip it. And then one thing we could also do is could we could come here to the opacity and just drag down the opacity to about 60. So again, we're going to place an image. This time I'm going to choose this one. Press enter and then add a clipping mask by holding on the alt key. I'm going to press command T, resize the image. Okay, now that we've labeled the bottom rectangles, what we're going to do is, as you can see, our layers are becoming a bit too messy. So we need to create some groups. I'm going to come here and start creating the groups. So I'm going to click on this banner. Let me just make sure which one it is. So I'm going to hold on the uh, command key. Click the image, the rectangle, and the wording. I'm going to press Command G to group that. So that's rectangle one. And then I'm going to do the same. Hold on the Command key. Select the layers. Press Command G. And then the same applies with the third one. Okay, so just to make sure that uh, what we've selected is correct, we just click on this eye icon to see if all the items in that group are where they're supposed to be. Okay, so we're going to make this group the header group. So I'm going to press Command G, and then I'm going to call this header. And then here, this main header, I think it's the middle part here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this as well. Main banner, click and drag it below the header. Okay, so now we have all these in order. So now we have the header, we have the main banner, then we have the three rectangles. I'm going to do a few touches to this layout. So I'm going to come here and change the logo color, maybe make it a dark gray. And I'm going to do the same with the navigation text. Select all that, then change the color to a lighter gray. Okay, so let's go to the to this main heading. Now let's change the font into something different. Right, I think I'm going to settle with this one. Then I'm just going to double click here and then change the color. Grayish color. All right, so I'm happy with that. The last thing that I need to do is just to make sure that I change the, the color of this line. So I'm going to double click in there and then change that as well. And then click OK. You can see the color of that line has changed. Okay, I'm going to do the same here. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. All we need to do is just to align these and make sure that they, they are aligned properly. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to select the three rectangles. And then come here to distrib distribute center. So that just that just pushes it and makes sure that we have the same distance between these rectangles. Okay, that looks good. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a footer and then we're done with our design. So I'm going to go to the line tool and then I'm just going to click and drag. And then I'm going to hold down the alt key to make sure that, I mean the shift key to make sure that I draw a straight line. Finally, what we need to do is to add the footer text. So I'm just going to add, then make sure it's changed here. So I'm just going to go to Arial. Then I'm going to change the size to 14. Okay, the color is fine. Okay, so I'm going to write. And then we can also add Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to drag one more guideline to about here. 
and then we're going to crop because the bottom is too long so I'm just going to crop this up to about here I'm just going to adjust that as well and the top and then I'm just going to press enter to commit to that if you'd like to follow along what I've done is I've put all the exercise files, the images, the Photoshop documents, all in a zipped folder. You can download this on graphicstv.com, absolutely free. So head over to graphicstv.com. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget to put a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.